about the Como test. The chromosome test on a pinky permanent has termed her a male. That's the big breaking news we're getting you right now at 11 o'clock this morning. Sources, in fact, are telling headlines today that the chromosome test was done at the CFSL laboratories in Hyderabad. What we're also picking up from our sources is that Pinky has tested for the XY male chromosome. What we're also getting to hear is that the report has been sent to the SSM hospital in Kolkata. Remember, the first test had been conducted there, but they couldn't have been carried out as far as the chromosomal test. The final test in this entire matter is concerned. The report was to be handed over to the Bharat Airport authorities. In fact, Pinky currently is incarcerated in the Dum Dum jail. Let's get in more from our Kolkata bureau chief, Avajit Nandi Majumdar, who's joining us with more details on this. Avajit, this is our final nail in the coffin. Whatever this report says, obviously, is something that the courts are going to go by. Yes, absolutely. From the SSM hospital, there's a medical board, which is currently uh, sitting on the report. Uh, they are giving final touches to it. The report has come from prototyping, prototyping. According to medical sources, one sources went to the SSM hospital. They mentioned that the prototyping confirms the gender of an individual, and that's what they have done. And uh, this report will be, uh, will be put up in, in the Barasat court. The court is monitoring uh, the Pinky's gender test. And according to my sources at the SSM hospital, uh, it's the XY male chromosome which has been found in, on Pinky's blood samples. But uh, these are these will be put forward to the court. And court will take the report today. And Pinky will be put up on Thursday. Pinky uh, will be put up in the court on Thursday. And, and it's expected that on Thursday, the entire issue is uh, will come to light of these studies. But uh, we, are, we, we also hope to get uh, uh, something out of the structure today. But as far mm -hmm. as we are concerned, our sources will just indicate that the initial report has XY chromosomes on Pinky's blood samples. And how damaging do these results actually become for Pinky, who's so far been maintaining that she's a woman? What exactly happens to her standing, not just with the kind of stand that she's been taking on the issue, but the fact that the kind of medals that have come her way, what exactly happens to her situation as far as being an athlete is concerned, I would say. Uh, see, this is again uh, a little bit of a uh, dispute and a debate on the issue in the sense that the medical fraternity, I may spoke to the uh, same uh, female doctors at the same hospital, uh, the female hospital, the state government hospital in, the, in, in, in Kolkata, and they mentioned that it could well be that she was born a female and she went, uh, she had some chromosomal changes, hormonal changes in between, which could, this could well be that. And there are certain medical uh, issues to which needs to be sorted out. They can undergo some kind of uh, uh, changes as, as she grew up. Uh, uh, there is no risk. I mean, uh, it is very difficult to say them how Pinky, as a male, could took, uh, took part in a nation game where it is, uh, as, as a female. So these are things that uh, these are issues which we talk up uh, much later. Once the medical report is uh, put up in the Barasat mm -hmm. Court, once uh, it was goes through these cases, and then the medical fraternity will have to sit down and find out that whether she was a male initially, whether she was born a male, or whether she had developed some kind of tendency, the chromosome, the hormonal deficiency, which mm -hmm. made a change uh, into a uh, made a go uh, male uh, uh, chromosome. Abhijit Nandi Majumda, many thanks for having joined us.